almost ready to hit the road. Elon Musk's company rolling out the futuristic electric pickup over the weekend. On today's episode, the Cybertruck birthing tunnel takes shape. Joe Rogan flexes his new Tesla. Elon Musk's car gets mistaken for an asteroid. And a new model Y arrives in America. Starting with the Cybertruck tunnel update. Cybertrucks have begun flowing from the Cyber Tunnel at Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas. Drone operator Joe TM has captured a small group of freshly made Cybertrucks exiting the tunnel through a Cybertruck-shaped mouth opening, complete with the signature light bar. What we are seeing are vehicles that have just rolled off the General Assembly floor at Texas. From there, they move directly into an underground tunnel, drive underneath a divided highway and emerge in the lot where Tesla stages their vehicles for delivery. So, they are all moving over to this big white building where they get final touches and charging before loading onto a transport truck. One very important thing to note, these Cybertrucks we're seeing right now are not being self-driven. They are people-driven, which means that the tunnel isn't really operating as intended just yet. The underground passage was dubbed by Elon Musk's boring company in 2024. Excavation began almost one year ago using the Proofrock 3 boring machine and was completed by June when Proofrock emerged inside of a new extension being constructed on the south end of the Gigafactory. That extension has now become the end of the line for Cybertruck production and a giant water-cooled supercomputer data center for autopilot development. And that's where the real goal for the cyber tunnel lies. In broad terms, going underground only makes the drive from the factory to the staging lot slightly shorter, maybe a couple of minutes, not a huge deal. But if Tesla can combine the tunnel with autonomous driving, then we are getting somewhere. So, instead of a person driving the truck over, dropping it off, and then coming back to pick up another truck and repeating the process, with FSD, the trucks could just move themselves from point A to point B, and the people can go get a different job. It's been said that this will save Tesla 240 seconds of production time per vehicle, which, when applied across tens of thousands of vehicles, really adds up. There's no indication on when exactly the Cybertrucks will transition over to self-driving. Word on the street is that it will happen in the first half of this year. And not only would that be an important milestone for Tesla, but it would also be a great sign for the Boring Company as well, because all of the Tesla vehicles that are operating the Boring Company loop at the Las Vegas Convention Center are also still being driven by people, and that's definitely holding back the system from reaching full efficiency. I was watching this video the other day of someone riding the loop from the convention center to a nearby hotel, and there's a lot of time just spent sitting at red lights and waiting around for seemingly no reason. So, the boring company is in desperate need of some AI automation. Hopefully, that begins in the cyber tunnel and spreads fast. Tesla is all about pushing boundaries with cutting-edge technology, and it's got me thinking about how we can bring that same level of innovation into our daily lives. One great example of that is our sponsor for today's video, Exta, a brand that's taken everyday carry essentials to the next level. Exta's wallets are not only ultra-slim and stylish, but are designed with functionality in mind. They've introduced this really clever quick-access card system where, with just the press of a button, your cards pop up, ready to go. It's perfect when you're in a rush or just want to keep things simple. One feature that stands out is their RFID blocking technology, which protects your cards from wireless theft. And with more of us using contactless payment, that kind of security is becoming more important than ever. But here's what I love most, Exta's wallet trackers. They have one for iOS that you can link to Apple's Find My and a solar-powered option for Android. So, lose your wallet? No problem. Two hours of sunlight gives you three months of tracking, so you can always find it, whether it's buried in your couch or left behind in a cafe. For a limited time only, Exter is offering an incredible 35% off Valentine sale when you use my code TeslaSpace. It's the perfect time to grab one for yourself or as a gift. 
You'll find the details in the link in the description below. Now, let's get back to the video. We know that Joe Rogan has been the proud owner of a Tesla Model S Plaid for a few years now. While it is a badass vehicle straight from the factory, Tesla doesn't offer much in the way of customization. So for that, you'll need to go to a third party. And that's exactly what Rogan has done by turning his ride over to Unplugged Performance for some unique upgrades. The company describes Joe's vision for the final vehicle as a perfect blend of class and aggression that can be driven daily. From the outside, you can see the 19-piece wide-body kit made from pre-preg carbon fiber, which includes flared rear wheel arches, adding 3 inches to the width of the Model S inside those widened fenders. UP says they use their notoriously lightweight and damn near indestructible UP03 forge monoblock wheels, measuring 21 by 10 inches in front and 21 by 11.5 inches in the rear. Paired with 285 a 30 and 305 a 30 Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires front and rear. The carbon fiber rucker panels include an integrated advanced manufacturing aerodynamic shock fin at the front wheels to control airflow around the massive front wheel arches, and they've also added a dramatic carbon diffuser and a carbon rear lip spoiler. The paint is in stock either, of course, now resprayed in a nice shade of pearl white with hints of blue and covered in satin paint protection film. This 1020 horsepower beast needs solid brakes. So UP added carbon ceramic discs. Forged billet suspension arms have also been installed. As for the interior, it was, of course, custom designed and executed using a one-off roll of Von Holzer's and white bamboo leather combined with black Alcantara accents. Now, here's a little side quest for you. If the Von Holzer's name rang a bell for you, you would be correct. It is a material innovation company making award-winning advanced materials from plants to replace plastic and is also suitably founded by former car designer Vicky von Holzorsen. Vicky is, of course, Franz von Holzorsen's wife, as they met when both were at General Motors back in the day. If you missed it somehow, Franz is the chief of design at Tesla, the guy behind the design of nearly all of Tesla's lineup. UP says that Joe has always communicated his love for his Tesla Model S Plaid and his support for unplugged performance. But it was a whole new ball game to finally be able to build a car for the man himself. When he notified UP that he wanted them to build him an S Apex, the team was excited, to say the least. You know the Tesla Roadster that SpaceX launched into orbit in 2018? Well, it's generated a new headline we did not expect to find. Astronomers just deleted an asteroid because it turned out to be Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster. Turns out, the Roadster, in its grand cosmos voyage, has reappeared somewhere less than 150,000 miles from Earth and was mistaken at first as just an unusual asteroid by scientists. Well, we can't really blame them either. Probably not many cars floating around in the area they research. Elon commented on the news. My car is orbiting Earth and Mars. We showed you the new Model Y launch in China the other week. Now, it's time for the rest of the world to get a piece of that cyber-looking Model Y. The new Tesla Model Y is available in the US only as the launch series version, which is a long-range all-wheel drive variant. The price in the U.S. starts at $60,000, in Canada at $85,000, and in Europe for €61,000. Here is the very first new Model Y off the line in Germany, which all the employees involved signed. While the launch series is obviously a higher trim, priced $11,200 more than the old Model Y long-range all-wheel drive, it will be followed by cheaper ones. It's actually a good deal if you are considering some of the added features anyway. This is basically just a fully loaded Model Y with all of the options and accessories attached. By the way, here's the custom entry animation that comes when booting up the launch series Model Y Tesla has reportedly received over 130,000 orders for the new Model Y in 16 days after the launch in China alone. We now also get reviews from content creators, like actual hands-on ones, so you can find one that suits you. For example, Car Wow 
Top Gear, Carl from Out of Spec, Tesla Wei, and so on. We personally think Carl has the most thorough and enjoyable video out so far. And with these new reviews, we've learned that there is so much more change with the Model Y than we'd expect, down to the smallest details. Tesla says that up to 50% of the parts in the car are new. The vice president of finance at Tesla, Sandy Pahani, commented, Our team is putting a lot of effort into improving what is already the best-selling car in the world. And that's the thing, you've got something that obviously works, so there's a lot of pressure to not break something that didn't need to be fixed in the first place. Oh, and we found one reason why the broken up front light bar, as opposed to just a full one, is actually great. The new Model Y light show is that much cooler. You can see it uses every light in the show, including the ambient lights inside. All new Model Y is built at Tesla's Fremont, Giga Texas, and Giga Berlin factories reportedly do not have any logo or badge on the front of the car, unlike the old Model Y. Only new Model Y builds at Giga Shanghai have a front badge. So, Tesla seems to be going more and more logo-less. Is this a good thing? We're not sure. But let us know your thoughts below. With the first vehicles on the road and in showrooms right now, we've been told that customer deliveries will begin in March. Now, as we expected, the new Model Y looks especially great in solid black, currently exclusive to Giga Berlin. Solid black isn't available in the US right now, but we've got reason to believe it is coming soon. Since a previously covered test vehicle from Giga Texas was now spotted without covers in solid black. And here it is an ultra red from China. The ultra red was also spotted in this video from California. Now, the indirect reflective body panel tail light has been one standout feature that Tesla loves to point out as the first in the world. Perhaps this is a good angle to show how it actually works. Also, Check out this close-up of the Tesla lettering in the taillight. We've got a great small detail in the new Model Y parcel shelf. Below the load floor, there's a space cut out to put it so you don't lose it. There seem to also be new ways to fold the floor panel there. As you might know, the Reese seats are now powered, so you can unfold them with a touch of a button. By the way, Tesla claims they are the fastest power folding seats in the industry. And for this, the seatbelt hole was moved from the seat to the pillar, so it no longer gets in the way when unfolding the seats. Also, as per usual, Tesla thinks of everything. The front seats automatically move forward, so the re-seat headrests don't hit the front seats when folding down. We'll end the list with perhaps a very niche topic for current owners, but reportedly, the annoying deep resonance tone from the rear of the car has been eliminated. The new Model Y is popping up in a lot of showrooms as we speak, so you may be able to go and check it out already. Let us know what you think if you do.